is an approach to landing stall as demonstrated in our training aircraft, the Diamond DA-20. The first thing that I've done today is I've selected a suitable altitude that will allow a recovery no lower than 1,500 feet above the ground. And for us, that's 2,500 feet. That gives me a 500-foot cushion as the field elevation here is about 400 feet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in with a simple checklist, LC Gumps, that's going to get me set up for this maneuver. L stands for landing light. C in this application is going to be clearing turns. I'm going to do a 360 degree turn to the left while I'm clearing the area for traffic. Continuing with my checklist, G is for gas. That's on fuel pumps coming on. My gas is metering. U is undercarriage. Can't do anything with that. The wheels are down as they would be in the landing configuration. Mixture is full rich. And the P stands for power. We select a power that's consistent with our traffic pattern power setting, and that's 2,000 RPM, and which I'll trim for level flight. So I've got myself set up for the maneuver. I'm just continuing to clear the area as I complete the other half of this 180 degree clearing turn. Looking underneath my wing on the right side, above my wing on the right side, and exposing the areas underneath my nose. Make sure there's no other traffic in this area. All right, remembering what we're trying to demonstrate here, or we're trying to uh, recreate is a stall as I'm approaching the airport in the landing configuration. Full flaps, landing gear down, power at an idle. So we're going to get in that configuration. I have a spot picked out in front of me that's going to help me hold my heading. It's that field out there in front because the heading is important in this maneuver. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm bring my power back to 1500 RPM, which is going to slow the aircraft down and get into the flap safe range where I can then deploy my flaps. This maneuver, I go ahead and I deploy all the flaps. As soon as the indication that the full flaps are in, I bring the power to an idle and I will establish a controlled descent at my final approach speed at 60. A nice stabilized descent, and I'll carry this for, oh, 5, 10, 15 seconds, something like that, just so I can demonstrate that I actually have done that. Next, I'm going to start slowly raising the nose, not paying attention, or seemingly not paying attention, until which time the aircraft stalls. There's a stall horn, buffeting, and full stall. Lower the nose, full throttle, level my wings, pitch for the horizon right there, and flaps to the middle position. At this point in time, it's the first step of my recovery. I have a small climb pitch attitude going. Next, I want to be sure that I have a positive rate of climb, and I have an airspeed between 60 and 70. That means that I can get rid of this last notch of flaps without settling back down to the ground. So my flaps come up. I continue then to climb at VY, which is 75, until which time I regain all of the altitude that I've lost. Level off, let it accelerate slightly, and then bring my power right back to that traffic pattern power setting of 2,000 RPM, where the aircraft was trimmed, and that's the end of the maneuver. Fuel pump comes off, landing light is off.